New tonight, a booking photo of 21-year-old Jayana Tanay Webb, charged with multiple felony counts of murder in the third degree, homicide by motor vehicle while under the influence, and manslaughter in the deaths of Pennsylvania State Troopers Martin Mack, Brandon Siska, and a pedestrian. What's up, party people? And hello, my friends. It's your girl, welcome to China, and welcome to my channel. And baby, you already know I've been gone for a hot minute. I had the vid, but the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want covered by the Lord. Anyway, y'all, you already saw this clip before we got into it. Y'all, out of control, out of line. We're going to get into it right now. But before that, I'm on my way to 3,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Dang! Hit that notification bell. Do, do, do. And make sure you share with a friend. But before we get into the video, y'all, I have a special sponsor, which is me. I just came out with my own fragrance. Make sure you check it out. Let's look. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Welcome to China, and I'm my very first fragrance, Finesse, in partnership with Scentcraft, is going to be live, link in bio, link everywhere, y'all. Here it is right here, my very first scent. It is live and in action, baby. That is me. You're going to smell like a finesse queen with this, okay? You're going to be able to finesse a new job, finesse some new men, finesse some new money, baby, and all the keynotes with my fragrance has pink pepper, raspberry, patchouli, lemon, turmeric, vanilla bean, praline, and it also ends with a little musk. Let me tell you, if y'all are not purchasing this, then I don't want to talk to y'all because if you ain't smelling like finesse this summer, then we ain't going to be dripping together, baby. Check it out, y'all. Link in bio. Tonight at midnight is dropping. See you soon and thank you for the support. Y'all, so you saw that little two cents, that little promo. I did come out with my own fragrance called Finesse with Scentcraft, so make sure you guys check that out. The proceeds do go to me, and it's my very first merch product, so check it out. All right, now let's talk about this girl. Child, you already know how I feel. I'm, I'm loud, I'm outspoken. This is a mess, and this could have been avoided. I'm already gonna say that. This makes me and my culture, our people, black folks, young girls, women, everybody look bad. Everything under the sun. But everything that this girl did, from drunk driving, to hitting two straight troopers, state troopers, from hitting a pedestrian and then bragging on Twitter about being the best drunk driver, none of this is surprising to me. This is the tweets that I read daily from my peers, from people that I know. So none of this is surprising to me. I wanna go ahead and put that out there. But long story short, this young lady made a tweet a couple weeks ago saying that she is one of the best drunk drivers ever. She's saying, hey, I can go out and whip it. I can go out with my friends. That's what the young girls do nowadays. That's what people do. It's cooler to pull up with your own car, get in your own car drunk, blast your music, go back home, make some noise, and just hopping in an Uber. Now, that's what I'm telling you is a big difference between hanging out uh, in urban areas and then hanging out in the downtown city areas with the other folks, okay? That's just what I'm saying. Culturally, these things are different. If I can tell you how many of my black and Hispanic friends will uh, refuse to take an Uber or a Lyft and I go to my other friends that are white and or other, they're always going to be like, yep, let's go. Let's go with the Uber girl. Why is it like this? I don't know. You tell me. We live in a flexure, uh, excuse me, we live in a culture of flexualization. Everybody wants to flex. And all this girl was doing was trying to flex. She was young. She's a hairstylist, so you know she's making money. I looked at her Instagram. It looks like this young lady um, was making a little name for herself out in the street. She had, you know, her pictures in front of the Benzes and all that. But I look at her Twitter. Uh, she's a hood rat. I look at the Twitter. Um, she one of the girls. I mean, she was one of those girls that say she for the streets. And unfortunately, in this case... Since we learn now that she killed two troopers and a pedestrian, and the story went as apparently this young lady got pulled over about two miles prior to hitting the officers, the two troopers that pulled her over, but they had to hurry up and go and check on another emergency case. So they pulled this young lady over, and then they got another page like, beep, beep, we have a pedestrian walking, running on the highway on the e-way whatever you call it so they had to hurry up and did they didn't even get a chance to breathalyze her they didn't do anything of that nature didn't even get that far it was emergency call so okay 
We can't hear from them because they're not here anymore. God rest their souls. It's unfortunate, but I know this ain't going to stop until things like this happen. So all I hope is that people learn from this. We don't know how much time she's going to get. She hit a state and killed two state troopers. She already know that's over with a pedestrian. She does have third. Uh, they did give her third degree, which is interesting. Not first. I'm interesting. I'm interested to see why. But this girl is going to be locked up for the rest of her life. For the rest of her life. All uh, because you're trying to flex and try to look cool and prove yourself to people who don't care. Because if it's her trying to prove herself to her other friends and stuff, then that mean they living off her, using her. She's the hairstylist on there. And she just in the car flexing. And I know this ain't even, this isn't even a conversation of, well, the friend should have known better. The way that this girl speaks, the way that this woman is carrying herself, I can already tell that her peers are just the same. They're hood rats. They're rats. Ghetto. They don't care. They're going to say, go ahead with your, with your car, girl. Go ahead and go. And then get in this same type of predicament. We have to do better. We have to do better. When I was in college, I had too many friends, got DUIs, DWIs, all that. Cannot drink and drive. God has spared me when I was younger in other circumstances, never getting an accident or to be the driver or drinking in any of these circumstances. But this got to stop. I'm disappointed. This is very upsetting to me. And I can't believe. That this young woman now is going to spend her whole life, she's 21, now I'm behind bars because she wants to flex online and look cool. And just want to drive her own car to prove something to somebody else. And she's belligerently drunk. But that's the world that we live in and that's what's happening. Alright, we're going to watch the rest of the video. Let's check it out. Murder in the third degree, homicide by motor vehicle while under the influence, and manslaughter in the deaths of Pennsylvania State Troopers Martin Mack, Brandon Siska, and a pedestrian. The crash happened Monday around 1 o'clock in the morning on I-95 South near the stadiums. Jana, did you drink that night? Earlier today, Webb was escorted out of Troop K, wearing the handcuffs of the troopers she allegedly hit and killed while under the influence, with a blood alcohol level twice the legal limit, according to sources. How much had you had to drink that night? A Twitter page with the handle Tanae underscore J includes a post from January that reads, quote, if you ask me, I'm the best drunk driver ever. Sources confirm investigators are looking into her social media. Social media accounts also include include posts promoting her small hairstyling business and appear to highlight her past as a Norristown High School graduate and competitive track and field athlete. Did you see those troopers? Flowers placed at the barracks in honor of the fallen troopers. Fraternal Order of Police Lodge Number 5 shared links to GoFundMe pages for both families. Each has raised tens of thousands of dollars already. And the Pennsylvania State Troopers Association is warning tonight about scam calls, people soliciting money for the troopers' families, and they're reminding people tonight that they will never call and ask for donations over the phone. We have posted the legitimate. So I went on my little rant, y'all. You know, that's pretty much as much as the case we know. Um, I'll continue to talk about it if I see fit. It's just unfortunate. Stop drinking and driving. It's not cool. Stop going out with people who you feel uh, are under the influence and can't get you home, stop doing that. And that's where I met y'all. Make sure you guys check out my new fragrance, Finesse. It is now online. Link is in bio. Link is in the description box. Wherever you guys want to look, it is going to be there. So make sure you guys surely, surely, surely check that out. See you guys next time.